Hi Rams fans, the fall sports teams are in the swing of CAA play now. We'll start off with the men's soccer team in this edition of the Weekly Rewind. Wheeler has the top of the box, he'll fire, and it's in! Go VCU! Yoram Wheeler! Brilliant turn and brilliant shot from Yoram Wheeler to give him his fourth goal of the season. Welcome to another presentation of Rams Review, the best Rams sports show period. It's time for the Weekly Rewind. Here is Tommy Lopez. The men's soccer team came into this week having lost their last four matches, trying to get back on the right foot as George Mason came into town on Saturday. The Patriots creeping into the national rankings, coming off a win over 20th ranked Old Dominion last week. A season record 800 fans coming out to support the team. No score, second half, Mason star Taylor Morgan blasts one over VCU senior Josh Pantazalos. 72nd minute now, still nil-nil. Sophomore Nate Schiffman to junior Yoram Wheela, and Wheela making a move, putting one past Mason Sean Cote. Great individual effort from Wheela, his fourth goal of the year. Saluting the crowd, and the Rams look to hold on to the lead. Sophomore Jason Johnson finds himself with space, but the shot goes just high. Time winding down now, Mason with a golden chance, just missing a wide open net. And VCU takes down the Patriots 1-0. Rams improved to six and four, one and one in CAA play. It was a good feeling. It was a good feeling. Um, it's always a good feeling when you hit the back of the net. They played us real well, and we just had to keep fighting. And they didn't give us anything easy. It was a good game for our guys to come home um, after dropping a few games in a row. Really, kind of get back to uh, to the basics and to the grind this week. Learning how to grit and our teeth a little bit more, fight a little bit more. Week three of intramural sports at the Carey Street Field this week. We were out for flag football on Wednesday. Let's count down the top three plays. At number three, Faisai taking on AKL. Good pass and catch here for the touchdown as AKL wins it 33 to 14. Number two, same game. This time AKL looking for the end zone, duking around Faisai defenders after the catch for the score. And our top play from Wednesday, SAE and AKL. SAE's Max Wagner here, finding Raj Dillon for the touchdown. SAE scoring with no time remaining, winning on a two-point conversion. I feel great, man. This is probably the one game that I really wanted to win, so it was, I was stoked. This was the closest and most competitive game we've had. The women's soccer and volleyball teams had lost a combined six of their last seven matches coming into this week. Both teams had home games this week. Volleyball hosting Howard Tuesday night at Siegel. Junior Kristen Boyd, one of her 14 kills here as the Rams take the first set. Senior Courtney Hott in set two. She finishes with 11 kills. Junior Annette Farkas in the action as well as she totals eight kills on the night. The Rams going for the straight set winner here. Freshman Cecilia Aragayo sets up hot and that'll do it. BCU wins easily. The Rams improve to five and 11 on the season. It was a win that we needed to get. We struggled the, uh, in the first two games against George Mason and JMU last weekend, and I think um, taking this win is gonna really help us continue to win this weekend. The women's soccer team at Sportsbackers Thursday looking to pick up their first conference win with George Mason in town. BCU creating chance after chance for themselves. Plenty of excitement in the first half, but no scoring on either side. Second half, sophomore Bex Coons open on the left side. Mason's Lindsay Hokanson is just enough of it. Sophomore Courtney Conrad launches a career-high eight shots. VCU firing 23 on the night. None of them finding the net, however. This shot almost ended in double overtime. But the match ends tied 0-0. The thing going forward is focusing on what we do so very well is individually we have very good players. Everyone has to do their job to the best of their ability for every game. We play as a team and we will always be the most excited uh, team on the pitch. Get it, get it, get it! The club cycling team hosting races at Forest Hill Park Saturday. Schools from West Virginia to Maryland down to NC State coming into Richmond to compete. The VCU club started back in the mid-1990s. They are a member of the ACCC Conference. They have 40 members this year, hosting 16 races throughout the weekend, including short track and cross country. The club softball team hosting games at Tucker High School this weekend. The 14-member club began in 2007. Almost all the players were on their high school teams. Virginia Tech, UVA, JMU, and Radford are in their Mid-Atlantic Conference. VCU lost three games Saturday. 
they play at Virginia Tech this weekend. Looking ahead this week, the men's soccer team will be at ODU Wednesday and at Hofstra this weekend. The volleyball team will be at William & Mary on Thursday. The women's soccer team hosting two games, one on Friday and one on Sunday this weekend. The field hockey team will be at JMU Friday and will return home Sunday for their second-to-last home match of the season. Thanks for watching this edition of the Weekly Rewind. For more highlights, analysis, and photos, stay logged on to RamsReview.com. I'm Tommy Lopez.